Welcome to another edition to the Assassin Sports Show and much more guys. Thank you for the love, appreciate you bringing each and every day. You have the face to run the place. I cannot do this show without you guys. So thank you so much for the comments, the shares, the likes, for taking time to watch my videos guys. Thank you so much for everything that you bring to the table. To all my assassins man, thank you for showing me love, support man. But this show is growing each and every day, bigger and better. So thank you guys. Hey guys, if y'all pass it by my YouTube channel, and I know y'all seeing my videos, if you like what you see, it's easy. Hit that subscribe button. Become an assassin today. Guaranteed, no question asked, man. Hey man, me bring me bringing this song. My assassin bringing a song each and every day. So I hope y'all like the content. I hope y'all subscribe to the content. This is a hobby of mine. I'm just having so much joy doing this. This is like a stress relief with this crazy world. So here you go. So guys, are y'all ready for some football, guys? Are y'all ready? Because I know I am. I wish the game started right now. I want to hit somebody, right? So this is the pregame show, guys. The pregame show to the Dolphins and New England game. So welcome to all my Dolphin fans. Welcome to everybody who's watching. So thank you so much. So guys, it's going to be questions. It's going to be answers today, right? How the left tackle is going to do. How the right tackle is going to do. How that offense line is going to gel together. That's the question. That's the big question on Miami. How those guys are going to gel together. Right? That's going to be interesting. Now we're going to answer that question today. Okay? We're going to see our running back, Howard. How he's going to develop. I want to see Mar Marcus Penny in there. Bourne, I want to see in there. I want to see guys in there that, that had good training camps. Who had... Who, who, who been lining it up. So it's going to be an interesting, interesting um, game today. Because all those, all those questions are going to be answered today. Can the hot line hold up? Because I don't want Fitzpatrick to leave my team in rushing. It's the rushing game back for Miami. So that's because if, if we could rush the ball, guess what? Then, then you're going to have time to throw the ball. Then, then things start happening, guys. So that's the big question mark, right? The Rancho Parker is going to play. X is going to play. Jones is going to play. So that's exciting news. Noah, I want to see how he's going to do. That rookie. When we dropped in the first one, he got to play in those nickel dimes, man. I want to see him. I want to see Needham. He's going to take that next step. So it's a lot of questions. But I think Miami is going to answer it. I think Miami wins this game. I think Miami wins 24-10. Miami wins. Um, I just think Miami got a better team. I think Miami... It's much improved. I think New England took a step back. And the New England team um, players have opted out. A lot of them opted out. So I think Miami took that next foot, that next step. So it's going to be interesting. Those questions are all going to be answered. So I want to see how Durante Parker, can he take that next step, right? That's where we are. I think he, and for fantasy football players, put Durante Parker on your, your squad. Why I say that? Cause he's gonna have a big game. He's on. He has owned them more. So put him in there. I want to see J. Green Grant comes back. You know he had an off season, a bad season last year. Let's see if he could develop into that that slot guy. I want to see Ford. If Ford could take that next step, I want to see Kaziki to take that next step. You know, it's a lot of question around this team. Cause I'm telling you, if they take that next step, the the line. Holds up, I think Tua will be there week five, week six. I think Tua jumps into the starting lineup. But it's a lot of chatter that, like, listen, it's a lot of chatter that Fitzpatrick got a short leash. If they don't like him, they're going to yank him and put Tua in. That's what I'm hearing. I mean, let's see what happens. But I'm, you see, I already got my Tua jersey, baby. I'm ready for Tua. It's Tua the Assassin, baby. Remember, that's the nickname. A fan, actually, a fan came up with that, that idea. Because he, he could um, dec decover the defense. So it's Tua, the assassin. That's what, and a fan came up there and came up with that name. So it's going to be, it, it's going to be awesome. That name is awesome. So it's going to stick with me. That's the name for Tua now. Tua, the assassin. So tell me if y'all like it. Um... That's that's a, I, I got to give out the shout out to the fan, the one, the one man. Yeah, you came up with that name. It was amazing. Thank you for that name. So, um, after that note, guys, I want to see how this defense gel. I want to see our safeties. You got Bobby McCain there. You got Rowe there. Can those safety hold up? Are they better suited for that? 
So I want to see see how that goes. Um, I want to see our linebackers, how the linebackers gel together. You know, you know, you got Baker. I think Baker's gonna be fine. Vinoid, I think he's gonna be fine. Um, I want to see that defensive line. Is that defense that defense line better be beast mode? Because I think that defense line is gonna be better. I think we're gonna be pushing up the 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 line. So I want to see all that. That's a lot of questions to be answered. And we got 25 new players in the roster. That's a big turnaround, right? So I want to see how how they yell together. I want to see how they perform together. Sorry, guys. So all these questions that we have in our heads, can they perform? So um, taking a break from that, guys. Remember one thing. I'm going to talk about fantasy football in the pregame. So if you have Jonathan Taylor, put him in. That, go, that guy is going against Jacksonville. Jacksonville don't have nothing. You put him in, I think he's going to give you 20, 20 points. If you have... If you have the Miami Dolphins defense, put the Miami Dolphins in there because I think I think Miami is going to have three three interceptions in this game. So put, you want to put them in the defense in there or you have Baltimore defense, put one of those defense in there. San Francisco defense, you should put in there. Um, I would even say put the Colts defense in there. I guess same because I, I don't even think Jasper will score seven points today. So... That's that's the that's the mindset I'm telling you. If if you got those guys in, you want to put them in there. Um, Henry Ruggs. If y'all got Henry Ruggs, put him in there. I think he's gonna he's gonna play the slot. He's gonna have a, a nice little game today. Um, quarterbacks. If you have Tom Brady, Lamar Jackson, you want to put them in there. I I just think they're gonna have a huge game. Drew Brees is gonna have another huge game. Um, I might be wrong, but I think those those teams. It's gonna have a big game, a big game feel to him. Um, uh, I think that's it, guys. That's it. I think that's it. Tight ends. Um, you know, you got um, tight ends. I don't know much. I mean, I will put Gronk in there because that's Tom favorite player to go to. I think Gasicki is gonna take that next step. Do so you want to put Gasicki in there? Walker, if you have him, you want to put him in there. So those are the tight ends. I think gonna have a big game today. Um, what else? Who else, guys? Uh, in fantasy, um, I I think that's it. If you got Russell Wilson, you want to put him in there. I think he's gonna have a good game. I don't think they win, but I think that he will have a good game. Um, yeah, that that's 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 my view that I see. I see today, guys. That that I think these are gonna be star players today. Might be wrong, but I think in fantasy, I think they're gonna have huge games. I know Jonathan Taylor is gonna have a big game, be small game. So for the Rivers, I will put for the Rivers in there. So yes, keep in mind that. So guys, let's go back to the Dolphins, right? That's what y'all came for. So that's the questions, like the offense line, the safeties, the deep. I think they're gonna have a top ten defense, maybe a top five defense. I just think Miami's so much improved, so much better, so really. Like, remember, this team only won five games last year. Now you got a whole new roster, almost a whole new roster, and a, a better set of tools in there. I think this offense line is going to be a lot better. You can't get any worse than we was, so I think it, it's much improved. Now, I'm, listen, if you got a top 10 defense, you need a top 10 offense to make anything to happen, to, to take that next step. And I think that's what's going to happen. So all of that is everything has to happen. So... That's why I'm thinking Miami's going to have a great season. I told you my projection for this team is at least 10 and 6, the worst 9 and 7. And I'm okay with that because that's the next step. Because if you go, that's the next step. It's like a lot of turnaround. So I, I see that. But remember, we got to win this game. This is a division game. This is a big game for us. And we got to take, the, to take care of business, right? And like I said, I think Fitzpatrick got a short leash. If he started doing mistakes, I think he got a short leash, guys. So all that is going to be interesting, okay? Everything's going to be interesting. So all that said, guys, what y'all think? Y'all agree with me about the offense line, about the defense? I just think top 10 defense, I need a top 10 offense. Because we got that. That means it's a lot of promise in this young team. It's a lot of promise. And I want to see how, how Austin Jackson is going to do his first game 
And I hope he he passed because because if you got him, I want just Davis to take that next step. Then then you got Big Fish and and guard. I want to see Everett Flowers how he's gonna do. So if that's the question, because if that offensive line, if that offensive line holds together, it's gonna be amazing. Just gonna be amazing, amazing season. And the Dolphins might have a chance to run. Now I think I think the best team in football right now, and you have to give it to them is Kansas City. They the champs. They the champs, and until they get knocked off, they are the best team in football. Bottom line, we agree or disagree with that. They are the best team in football. You got to beat them, and and that's where I'm at. And Patrick Mahomes is gonna win the MVP. Hopefully, I think if Tua goes in there, Tua wins the Rookie of the Year. If he gets in there, and you know, I think he will win Rookie of the Year, depending on when he gets in there. If he gets in there. Week two or three, I think he, he got a chance to do it. So, guys, that's the pregame show. Tell me what you think. Guys, hit that subscribe button. I know y'all been watching my videos. We need more subscribers. We need to build this show. All my assassins, this is y'all voice, baby. This is y'all voice. Let me know. It's all about y'all. So, guys, thank you. I'm out. Can't wait. I will do the postgame show and and talk about everything, what's going on, what what happened to the game and everything. So, um, we gotta, we gotta, I'm gonna do the post game show. Hopefully, it's a Dolphin for him. We are all excited and we go with that. Oh, and by the way, guys, remember one thing Tua was number 13. We're number 13, right? Now he was number one. Look how, look, look how this crazy world works, right? His, his middle name is Dan, Dan Marino 13. You see where I'm going with this? Look how the, so, can he be a prodigy? That guy just give the football guys just give it to us and say, "Here it is. Go, go get him. He's gonna take you out to the promised land." I think so. So look how everything works out. That Marino didn't start his rookie year. Till it's not starting his rookie year. So uh, this is this is all working out beautiful for the Dolphins. It's just gonna be amazing. So guys, thank you, thank you for everything you do, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything, guys. Thank you. Keep on subscribing. Keep on putting this show out there, guys, because y'all been doing an amazing job, amazing work. Thank you so much, guys. God bless. See you later.